Building effective retail agents requires matching the ideal design with an identifiable use case so we can ensure that they operate safely. My name is Anjali Glauwe Torres. I'm a developer advocate here at Retool, and today I'll be giving you some guides on how to get the best performance out of your agents through instructions and prompting. How to instruct an agent. First, give the agent purpose. It requires context to understand how is this supposed to operate and what role this is supposed to play. Avoid open-ended roles. I would say think of them more of like specialists rather than generalists. So if I were to build a tightly scoped agent that is an expense report auditor, that would be 10 times easier to build and at the same time more predictable with this behavior rather than just a finance assistant that knows no boundaries. Break down complex objectives into smaller steps or sub goals. Be specific about breaking down complex tasks into actionable steps, knowing the essentials and what the end results are, it makes the agent more efficient. This is where you really need to start introducing some constraints. Example, translate the text and then email the translation to the user's address using the email tool. If the text is over 100 words, summarize instead due to email length. This is specific to the steps that the agent must follow. It is goal-oriented above all. It knows how to evaluate its own based on validation criteria and understanding its limits. Make the prompt goal-oriented rather than step-by-step. -step. So we're building on the last one. We said breaking down to smaller stuff, but you don't have to be so detailed with all of the specific actions. You don't have to say like first X, then Y, then C. Instead, you can write it like find the necessary information, then do X. It uses the agent's reasoning ability while also understanding the end goal. So use that. Define success criteria for agents. How do you know you've done a job well? For instance, an agent sending an email might look at success as no to minimal editing. Clear success criteria help in design and evaluation. You can operationalize your success criteria by building evals. Provide context or samples. If the agent's final output has a specific format or style, then provide examples within the same prompt. For instance, draft the response in a friendly tone. Example provided. Hi, insert name. Thanks for reaching out. This will really help out with changing the final output of the agent. List the available tools clearly. Retail Agents allows you to define tools like queries, APIs, and functions. Ensure the agent understands what they're supposed to do through a brief description. I personally like to have a whole section dedicated to just listing out all the tools that I'm going to get a bit access to later on. And then I have the tool name and also the description. So for example, calendar tools, and I would say return calendar availabilities within a date range. In the retool interface, you also have a brief description for each of the tools. Fill this in meaningfully. Include error handling. Tell the agent what to do when an error occurs or an unexpected situation happens. We'll be going more in depth about this in another video. Now, ultimately, how you write your prompt is really up to you, but I would say try it out in many different ways. Do task specific, context rich, or role based. If you want to learn more about the difference between all these types, I would say go check out our docs page.